Hello everyone, today I'm showing you how to make an installer for your Unity game. So a lot of games, uh, when you download them, they will download an exe file, which you need to run and they will automatically install the game. So that's what we're going to do, but for your Unity game. So uh, Unity doesn't have a feature to make an installer, so we need a third-party software. Um, I use InnoSetup. Um, I have a download link down in the description. I will um, send you to this page. The page is a bit weird, so you're gonna go down here um, and download either from US or Netherlands. Don't press the random site button, doesn't work. I actually had, have tried that before, so it doesn't really matter from where you download that. But before we do anything, I'm going to go to my folder where the game was built so here is the folder that was built I have a video oh sorry I didn't mean to do that I have a video dedicated on how to build a game so you can go watch that if you want but here's a folder um, that my game is currently in you can just I uh, can run it and stuff but uh, over here, I'm going to copy and paste that on the same folder. Now, that's because we're going to mess with the files a bit in the folders to make that work, to make the installer. And I'm going to duplicate that because if you mess with that, then you can't really, again, run the game. Okay, so now we are set to go. Over here, we have three options. Um, to create a new empty script from scratch or using the script wizard or open an existing script. You're going to use the script wizard unless you want to write your script from your own. Click OK. Click Next. Here we're going to uh, select to write our application name or your game name, the name of your game, that's what I mean your application version, um, my one is 1.1, my company and if you have a web website you can drop that over here I'm going to drop here my website, click next here we're going to set on which folder we want to uh, we want the game to be installed I would say the programs folder works fine, so click next Okay, so here is what we need to do. So first of all, we need to select the base application, so you exe of your game. You need you click browse and you go to your, you navigate to your game here. So go to the copy and uh, select your game. My one is this one. Click open and that will uh, be automatically added. Um, so over here we need to add some files first of all we need to add the crash handler and the play unityplayer.dll this one so before we add these two folders I'm going to go back to where my build um, folder is and I'm going to right click rename and copy the name copy the name okay <laughs> And inside of that folder, I'm going to, okay, I didn't mean to do that, but I'm going to paste, make another folder with the same name inside of that folder and dr drag every other file inside of that. So what we actually have, what we essentially have is just two folders with the same name inside of each other. So. Um, same thing we need to do on the United Square side, on the other folder actually. Right click, rename, copy the name, go inside, make a new folder, paste the name and select every single file except of that um, folder and bring it inside of this folder. So now we have, you can see, um, two mono blending edge folders inside of each other and two data folders inside of each other. Okay, so go to add folder, navigate to your um, build folder, 
point nine one is over here. One point one, and we are going to select the first one. Oh wait, oh it's the copy. Okay, the first one. So you should see two folders with the same name. Go select the first one. Okay, and do click yes, and do the same thing also from for the other folder. The data folder. The folder. So let's select it. Number one, copy and do select the first one again. Yes, and click next. I'll leave that like that. Um, next. Okay, so over here we have um kind of like if you want your game to be paid and you want a license file. So if you want when you download your game and you can maybe also download it a license file, you can select the license file. Uh, I would suggest ask user to choose the installation mode that's set up so the user can decide whether or not he wants administrative or non-administrative installing mode. Click next. Over here you can actually select your languages that can with the setup. I would say English is fine. You can select or deselect none. Uh, click next. Okay, so over here we need to browse to the output folder of our setup when it's built, where it's going to go. I'm going to navigate to my build folder again, and I'm going to select inside of my build folder. I want that. Over here is the setup name, the installer, the name of the installer. I'm going to my name. Where's my folder one? Now over here is just if you want to have a custom icon and um, over here you can actually browse an image if you want to your install to have a custom icon and if you want to uh, have a password so not everyone can install your game. So again if you have um, a game that's paid Maybe you want that uh, every user that pays the game uh, gets a password that you can use to install your game. Click next. I oh, don't want to add anything to that. Click next again and click finish. Um, yes, we need to compile a new script now. I would say that it's a good idea to save your scripts that if you want to change it later. I'm going to call it script and save that on my build, uh, build uh, folder, save and now it will build your installer, it will take a bit, I will be right back when it finishes. And there we go, we have our setup finished, if you go back to your output folder you can see there is the setup and you can double click to open it up and again it asks for whenever whatever or not you want to install for all the users or on for me i selected on for me click next you can see create share desktop shortcuts and install and now it will actually install your game click finish uh, you can see the launch remote squares is uh, checked so it will launch my game there we go and it works you can see also yep there we go it's actually in properly installed and yeah that's actually it it's very easy and you can do this anywhere you are if you have just this in your setup and uh yeah nothing much to it uh so thank you so much for watching. Now if you have any questions, post them down in the in the comment section below. Um so other than that, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!